Hey guys, Fix It John here. I'm going to start this video out by saying uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, take everything I say with a grain of salt. I'm not a professional when it comes to this stuff. I'm just a dad that's trying to save money around the house. So what's going on here is uh, this Generac generator, when it's running under load, it appears that it uh, is running out of fuel. It will power the house, but uh, it sounds like it wants to die out. I mean, uh, it it kicked on one night uh, early in the morning when we were in bed, and uh, I kept hearing, we, we keep a fan in our bedroom, and it would run, and then it would stop. And then you would hear the fan run again, and then it would stop. And uh, I'm like, what's going on? I didn't even know the generator was on. <laughs> I thought we were losing power, but... Uh, Anyway, I, I came out and I heard the generator, it would run and then it would be like, whoa, like it was going to die. And I'd never noticed that because we'd never uh, really ran the generator for any length of time under a load. If you run it, uh, if you exercise the engine, it, it sounds perfect. So I'm going to start it up so you can hear how it runs uh, in exercise mode without a load. All right, changing my mic again. So you heard it run, it sounds perfect. You wouldn't think anything was uh, wrong with it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simulate a power outage and uh, I'll show you how to do that. But uh, anytime you're working with electricity, uh, gas, make sure you have a nice hot cup of coffee. Otherwise you could blow yourself up. And it has to be a large coffee, not, not one of these little short ones, because that will not work. Ah, scalding hot, too. Mm. All right, let me show you what's going on. All right, guys, let me uh, give you a little schooling here. Uh, what, what I'm talking about when I say uh, it's under a load... Uh, when it's under a load, this uh, gin head here, or alternator, whatever you want to call it, this big black thing, that's what's uh, creating the load because it's under uh it's trying to power the house and with not enough horsepower out of this engine here short uh being short on gas it's not going to run properly uh the breaker never popped off so that, that that's what i mean when it's under load i mean when, when it's exercising that gen head there the uh alternator this black thing again it never it never uh, makes any power when it's when the engine's just exercising so let me get after this i hear some rain clouds and uh all right guys i'm going to take this uh disconnect cover off and uh simulate a power outage so you can hear how that generator is running and all i'm going to do is uh, hit this breaker up here Shut this breaker off. There we go. Let's listen to how it runs. I'm gonna go inside and make sure the AC's on, everything's running, so we'll I'll be able to show you how it shuts out under a load. So the uh, AC hasn't kicked on yet, but we'll continue to watch it here for a few minutes. All right, guys, the AC just kicked on. Uh, I had the camera off at the time and it powered up to uh, serve that power. Uh, I'm still waiting for it to die out. It's gonna make a liar out of me here. Let me go run the hot water. We have a tankless hot water uh, heater, so uh, let, let's see if that'll starve it for fuel. All right, guys, I turned the uh, hot water on. So that should fire up that tankless water heater. Seems to be running okay now. I don't know, it may have healed itself. 
All right, guys, I think it's going to make a liar out of me. But uh, anyway, after all, it's still uh, it's still good to exercise that gin head. Let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, tell me what you think. Why, why it would sound like it was starving for fuel when uh, this was in the middle of the night, too, when nothing was on but the AC unit. I've got all the lights on around the house. I haven't turned the outside lights on. Yeah, regardless, uh, it's a good thing to run that, uh, put that gin head under load every now and again. I exercise my uh, generator once a week uh, because engines are designed to run. And let it sit for a month and uh, condensation builds up in that uh, oil pan and uh, water and milky water and all that. They say it won't hurt it, but uh, water creates rust. You don't want to see any milky oil in your uh, generator, so run it at least once a week. All right, guys, I think this was a bust for me. Uh, we're going to shut the uh, generator off and put it back on the main power. There's a switch, transfer switch, click, it'll be going off. There it goes. That's the only thing I don't care for that engine is it goes from way high to just shuts off. It should decelerate like uh, your car. Do you shut your car off uh, full acceleration? No, you don't. Uh, lawnmowers. Most people don't know any better, but they'll turn theirs off at full acceleration. So uh, my little experiment was a bust, but uh, while I'm here, I'm just going to show you and tell you a few things. All right, I'm going to close this up, log it up. A little disappointed in my video today, but uh, maybe maybe there was something in the regulator clogging the gas, slowing the gas up. Uh, I, I don't know. But uh, if you have this issue, what I was talking about, I'll show you how to fix it. All right, guys, I printed this out from uh, Generac's own website, and what it says is Generac's home standby generator use a demand-type fuel regulator. A demand regulator provides fuel as the engine demands it, based on the engine load. It does not adjust the fuel pressure being provided to it. Demand-type regulators are used on the generic, on all Generac, air and liquid cooled uh, home standby generator. So uh, there's no adjustment on that generator, uh, no fuel adjustment, but uh, let me show you where the adjustment is. If it is uh, starving for fuel. All right, guys, I was so confident that it was uh, lacking fuel and uh, I even got me a uh, Allen wrench to make an adjustment, but uh, the regulator in the Generac does not have an adjustment on the fuel. Here is the only adjustment you can do the adjust, uh, any fuel adjustments to the uh, generator. And it goes through this regulator here, through that line, down that line and feeds the uh, generator. This line here goes up, over, and feeds that uh, tankless hot water tank. It also goes on and uh, feeds the uh, fireplace. But to make an adjustment, make sure this engine is off. So what you do uh, is you take this little cap off and it's just on, this one's just on finger tight. It's got, it has an O-ring. Uh, some of them uh, use a uh, flathead screwdriver. This one here uses a uh, Allen wrench. 
It's got two sizes there, if you can see that. And the inner size on this particular uh, regulator is a uh, is five sixteenths, and it uh, fits in this inner well here, right there. And you would want if it was starving for fuel. I even tried it with the uh, hot water tank on. If it was starving for fuel, be sure that you have that unit off. And you'd want to turn this clockwise two full turns there's one there's two now we don't have an issue so I'm just gonna set it back that's how easy it is to turn there's one there's two I'm not going to increase the fuel any because uh, we, we obviously don't have an issue but if your uh, generator sounds like it's starving for fuel this is the place you would want to uh, adjust the fuel flow all right guys after you uh, turn the screw two times to increase your gas pressure put this cap back on it try your generator out on a load and see if it has enough pressure going to it if it doesn't unscrew the cap uh tighten clockwise another turn and try it again i thought for sure this was going to be a learn how to fix it but uh you know what i'm going to put the put it up it may help somebody anyway so but uh whatever you do make sure you have a nice hot cup of coffee otherwise you could blow yourself up all right guys fix it john uh this video was sort of a bust for me it didn't work out like i thought it would but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and throw it up anyway and uh, maybe it'll still help someone but uh I know it was starving for fuel. Uh, this was about a month ago, and I never did anything about it because I was saving the video for you guys. But I think it had some trash or something in the regulator, and maybe it dissipated or moisture or was something. I, I don't know what it was, but it's obviously running good now. I didn't have to make a fuel adjustment, and uh, everything's running good. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this video up. And if you guys liked it, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I'm always working around this house. and. Uh, if it saved you any money, buy me a coffee. I'll leave a link down here below for you. Uh, just kidding. I mean, you can if you want. No big deal. I'd really appreciate it, though. But uh, remember, this is Fix-It John. Thanks for watching and moving on to the next project.